Well, Lloyd, Billy, and Holly, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. You know, over the years, I've had a chance to be here, and I've appreciated your thoughtfulness. I've appreciated the questions that you've had, and I've appreciated the opportunity to go back and forth with you a little bit on some of the thought process. To me, that's important. Uh, it's hard to be here this morning, or really any place, and, and just not say thanks to our veterans that, who have made the right for us to meet, to talk, and to give us our, our, our freedom uh, without giving them credit this morning. And while they've done their job at every point, to be quite honest with you, Washington, Washington has failed them. It's failed us in a lot of ways. And we're paying the price for it. We're literally paying the price with $700 billion bailout of Wall Street. $700 billion hard-earned taxpayer dollars to Wall Street institutions because Washington let them write their own rules, let them self-regulate. Literally, the last 14 days of while we were dealing with this is simply a product of the last 14 years in Washington. Washington isn't working. Many people say Washington is, is broken. People have different views about what they feel like that Washington ought to do, but whatever the view is, most people feel like Washington isn't working. 91% of Americans believe that we're headed in the wrong direction. Whether we're talking about out of control spending, special interest, insiders, port barrel politics, partisan bickering, the issues that matter most to us, Washington is gridlocked on. And it is time for a change. You know, to me, I have a vision of what I think is important and what we need to address. We need to stop the out of control spending, get spending under control, increase job opportunities, make sure that we address the health care issue, come up with a real energy policy. I have plans for each one of those. And I've also got a vision and a history and a record that backs that up. As governor, I balance the budget every year in some tough economic times. <coughs> Stop and think about a recession, and if you look at the aftermath of 9-11 that all of us faced, 45 states were looking at a tremendous budget deficit problem. Many raised taxes. We didn't raise taxes balance the budget every year. In the process, though, we refocused some priorities, gave the largest teacher pay raise in state history, brought the largest economic development project to our state, Nissan, created over 52,000 new jobs, $14 billion of investment, and all without raising taxes. It was a refocus of the priorities. That's a background of doing something and taking a situation where we find sometimes things being tough and making them work. That's what we need in Washington right now. And, and I, I've asked the question a number of places because it was asked some 28 years ago by Ronald Reagan. I asked people, do you feel better today than you did several years ago? Do you have more trust and confidence in Washington today? Do you feel like Washington is leading us in the right direction? So many people have told me, no, they don't. I think that's one of the reasons you get the 91%. And if people feel like that we need change, that things are not working, then to me, now is the opportunity to do that with someone who has, got, has ideas, has vision, and a way to make those happen that will help Mississippi recover economically and help us and the United States move forward. And to me, that's what this election is about. That's what all elections ought to be about, talking about the issues and the things that I feel like that I can do to move our country forward and what my opponent uh, feels like he can do.